Yesterday, 12 News got a rare look at the Green Bank telescope from above. 12 News digital reporter Sam Gorski got a tour of the telescope from top to bottom and spoke with researchers at the observatory about that telescope's importance. Here's Sam with more. My name is Sam Gorski and right now I am on top of the U.S. National Science Foundation Green Bank Telescope down here at the Green Bank Observatory in Green Bank, West Virginia. Uh, they were kind enough to let me up here. It is the largest fully steerable radio telescope in the entire world and we're going to take a look at some of the science they do, why this telescope is so important and honestly just have a look around. It's hard to appreciate just how big this telescope is in a video or a picture until you get right up to it, but you might be wondering why do we need such a big telescope in the first place? One of the things that that the the size it gets us is is gain. You can think of it as a as a giant bucket and the signals that they're trying to detect are unbelievably faint. The bigger the dish, the the more more signal we can collect and the better chances we have of, of find, finding the signal we're looking for. Over the last 25 years, the Green Bank Telescope has contributed to some of astronomy's most cutting edge research. In 2023, it played a key role in the discovery of low frequency gravitational waves, something predicted 107 years earlier by Albert Einstein. But being able to aim the telescope at almost any object in the sky is what makes it especially useful. We can track sources for, for hours and hours at a time if necessary. Pulsar astronomy is a big one where they are trying to time pulsars extremely precisely, which takes lots of observations over uh, many hours for a, a single observation and often multiple times. They wanna make sure they come back to it over and over again to refine those numbers. And while the Green Bank Observatory is doing this research, it's hoping to add more tools and functionality to the main telescope and even building completely new telescopes altogether. In Green Bank, West Virginia, I'm Sam Gorski reporting for 12 News.